This episode of Love Lauren is sponsored by Scott Bonner Fabrication and Parts. fork um, assembly next. It's got the little um, set screw in here, um, the adjustment screw, which um, defines um, how this um, fork and the whole assembly really um, interacts with the thrust pads in terms of how far or not far we engage the clutch cone ultimately into the into the clutch hat. So it's going to sit in here like so. We've got the little um, cutout up here where the shaft goes through and We've got little clips, a spring, and a little um, shaft that uh, basically passes through the two holes on either side of this to hold this guy in place. I'm a little bit tight with my paintwork, but it just seems to fit. Another one of those slightly tricky areas. It's not um, too difficult in my experience, but it's um, you know we're just trying to get um, sort of everything together all at once. So we've got to pass through. Um, the outer two holes there. Then we need to get our spring in place. So it'll allow the, the whole contraption back um, while you're getting it set up. Okay, so I've got that through the first um, the first side of the spring and the second side of the spring. I just want to get that shaft now through the next two holes uh, and at the other end, like so. You can see now how that spring um, operates this, um, this clutch fork. And our two little retainer clips, and they're sort of dome shaped, and they fit on over the ends of that shaft. That out. Looks good. We've got our um, clutch lever knob, etc. Um, and it goes through the two holes on either side of this fork and keeps this um, the actual fork sort of in place. I've already um, cleared the paint uh, the paintwork out of those two holes just to make sure we can get through. And um, it sort of fits like that with the little L-shape um, section of the, the knob facing towards the back, so we rotate like that. And it's also worth noting that the um, the clutch knob itself faces towards the front of the machine, um, so that we're not interfering with any of the clutch cable and stuff out of the, the drive clutch at the back. If we were to turn on this screw a little bit further, this little set screw, basically that's going to adjust the position of this clutch fork, um, so that when we're engaged, um, it will determine how far um, we're pushing the clutch cone um, along that PTO shaft. Looking at the um, clutch handle from the back side now, there's um, a small little hole just on the tail end of that, um, that handle piece. And it receives a little split pin, um, which passes sorry, through that hole and then wraps up and around either side. I've also got, um, this has come from Cameron, Petri, a, um, a little washer. I'm not sure everything's going to fit in this case. So if I pop that pin back out and slide the washer on, it might all just go. Oh, look at that. Um, and definitely sort of takes out any play in that um, in the movement of that, uh, that knob. So I'm not going to worry about um, getting that fully into place yet, just in case I need to remove this um, down the road, but um, I'll just push it in loosely for now, and I might just open that up just a touch so that it doesn't slide out of its own, of its own core. If I pop that forward, I forgot to show you, there's a little flat section 
on this on the inside of that clutch lever and that's sort of what we what this little set screw there's so I'm gonna wind that in quite a bit you can see how that's sort of now moving just like so um, it will scratch the paint on that handle unfortunately it's just the way it is that lockdown just again so it doesn't float away on us.